Greetings, Earthlings. Today I'm going to be answering one of the most frequently asked questions that I get, which is how do I connect my XLR or my Blue Yeti microphone to my camera to record video? If you want a very short answer, assuming that your camera does not have an XLR input, my preferred method is to record the audio and the video separately and then sync them up in post. But if you want to learn a little bit more about some other methods, let's dive a little bit deeper. Now for this demonstration, I am assuming that your camera has a 3.5 millimeter microphone input, but if your camera doesn't have any kind of external microphone input, you can go ahead and skip to part five. The devices we're going to be looking at today are the infamous Blue Yeti, a mixer, a USB audio interface, recording to your computer and syncing and post, and just for good measure, we're also going to be trying out an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable. For these tests, we will need a few different types of cables, a 3.5 millimeter TRS to 3.5 millimeter TRS cable, a 3.5 millimeter TRS to quarter inch TRS cable. However, I didn't have this, so I am just using an adapter that I got with some headphones and a dual quarter inch TS cable to a 3.5 millimeter TRS cable. Part one, the Blue Yeti. First, we'll plug the Yeti into the computer to power on the microphone. We'll then go ahead and use the meters on our computer in the audio preferences to set the gain dial on the back of the microphone. This will ensure that we are not clipping or distorting our audio signal early in the chain. Then we'll connect the 3.5 millimeter TRS cable to the headphone output on the bottom of the Yeti and connect the other end of the 3.5 millimeter TRS cable to the microphone input on your camera. Next up, you'll go into your camera's audio settings and switch it from automatic to manual and then you'll turn the gain almost all the way down so you are just one notch above completely off. The reason we are doing this is because a lot of cameras internal preamps are absolutely terrible and we want to use them as little as possible. Then we'll start talking into the microphone and we will slowly increase the headphone output on the Blue Yeti until we're getting a healthy level on the camera's meters and then you just go ahead and select OK or set this level and you're good to go. Quick note on this method, since you are using the headphone output of this microphone to run audio to your camera, you're not going to be able to monitor what you are recording, so you absolutely have to make sure that you set your levels properly and you are not clipping early on. And that is how you connect the Blue Yeti to your camera that has a 3.5 millimeter microphone input, and you have been listening to it the entire time of part one. I have been recording the Yeti to my DSLR camera. Now on to part four, where we will be connecting a USB audio interface to our camera. First thing you gotta do is plug in your interface to power it up. Then you're going to need to connect your microphone to your interface using an XLR to XLR cable. Then you're going to need to set your gain appropriately so you're getting a healthy level but you are not clipping because once your microphone is clipping in the interface there is nothing you can do about it. Then in order to get the audio from your interface to your camera, you're going to take a quarter inch TRS plug and connect it to the headphone output of your interface. You'll take the other end of that cable, which is a 3.5 millimeter TRS plug and connect that to your camera's microphone input. Next, you'll set the audio settings of your camera to manual so you can set the gain on the camera as low as possible without having it completely off. You'll talk into the microphone and slowly increase the headphone output until you're getting a decent level. And that is how you get audio out of your USB audio interface into your camera. You have been listening to the SM57 through the 2i2 second gen, running into the 70D, this entire example, just to show you how it sounds. Part four, AKA everybody's worst nightmare. We are connecting a microphone directly to the camera's microphone input using an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable. I have increased my gain on the camera to around 75% to get a decent level. And my God, is it going to sound horrible? It is going to be overly hissy. It is just going to be unusable. I knew it was going to be this bad, but I included this methodology to show you why you do not want to use this method unless you have a camera that has professional microphone preamps built into it.
And part five, we have my preferred method for getting XLR microphones audio with a DSLR camera's video, and that would be syncing the audio in post. First step is to connect your XLR microphone to whatever audio interface you have that is connected to your computer. Then, just like every other recording you have ever done, you will make sure that your levels are set properly. Once your levels are set properly on your interface, you will hit record on your camera, then you'll hit record in your audio recording software, and here is the big secret. Clap a couple of times. What those claps do is create really large and visual peaks in your camera's microphone audio as well as your XLR microphone's audio, and that makes it really easy to visually sync the two in post. Then once you're done recording, you will import both your video and your audio files to your video editing software of choice. You will drop both files onto your timeline, and then you will zoom in and manually line them up if your software does not have an automatic syncing tool. And once you verify that your audio is synced, make sure to mute your camera's microphone. In part five, we have my preferred method for getting X And uh, there you have it, five separate options on how to connect your XLR or your Blue Yeti microphone to your camera while recording video. If you found this video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a big old thumbs down. If you have any suggestions for future FAQ videos, make sure to leave those in the comments down below. And if you see an idea that you like, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that's something that people are interested in. If you want to support the channel and become one of these amazing people to my left, you can do so by clicking that join button and joining at the $5 tier. It helps so much with continuing to bring you guys these videos. That is it. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. Bye.